Asa and I sending our best love to you during these crazy times. I hope that you are keeping sane and healthy and safe. And stay tuned because I'm going to give you some really, really cathartic good art uh, projects to do at home that will keep you going. And for me, it's keeping me sane. So it's my gift to you. Keep connected and we will be together again soon. Love you all. Bye -bye. This is my way of dealing with this crisis, this coronavirus crisis, pandemic, crazy making time. I found, I looked through my papers and found these papers that. Um, were made by dropping paint and ink onto paper from a high surface and now I'm looking at it and they look like these germ cells. Oy. So anyway, I am going to just be creating a little collage with them. You know, just getting it out of your system. Um... And just onto paper really helps, I think. I'm just using matte medium to stick these down. It's just on a piece of illustration board. Just a small piece, doesn't really matter. This is more about just kind of healing and trying to put your fears and panics onto paper so that they can get out of your head. So, kind of interesting composition of drops and amoebas and mm, who knows what these are. Infiltrators. So, what I also did was I took some black India ink that I had, some waterproof India ink, and a bamboo stick. Some of you who've been in my class know that I love using India ink and bamboo sticks to write with. And so I wrote on some, some uh, tissue paper and daily paper and different things, just words that came up for me. And of course, it's all about the pandemic and what Pandemic means, pan means everything, and demic is the population, so it's the whole population. Um, the, just pan, ik, dim, on, ik. <laughs> Pandemic, walking with our eyes closed in the dark. So just when I get things down on paper, just kind of like it's out of my body and onto the paper and that's why I just love collage so much because I can just rip it up and put it down onto parts of my composition. I don't know. Let's see. Um, let's see. Maybe. So by Putting it down, what happens is um, it becomes, the words and the thoughts become more transformed and um, uh, you know, there's sort of a healing that takes place. And what I love is when you do it on tissue paper, you see it becomes part of the piece. And it's, it's this beautiful layering. And because it's waterproof black ink, then the medium doesn't affect um, or spread the virus, <laughs> the words, and the ink. So let's see what happens if I put it there. And this just helps, it just helps me psychologically, it helps me um, 
helps me get my mind off it while it's impossible to really get your mind off it. So the reality is that these words and thoughts are still here um, because honestly it's impossible to get this whole um, experience out of our psyche. So this is a way of um, of keeping it, knowing that it's there, but transforming it. So this is about, art is about transformation. That's, oh, look how beautifully that went down. And then, um, you know, maybe I'll put this over here. And I'm wondering if you could do something similar at home where you just really using your thoughts and your um, fears and transforming them into a, a collage piece or a mixed media piece. And if you do, well, let's see what happens if I cover some of the words with this see-through paper. Oh, interesting. And so I'm going to go, maybe it's complete, maybe it's not, but I just feel better now. So if you do anything, please post it and let us know. Stay healthy, stay creative, and stay positive. I know it's hard, but it's the only way. Love you all.